Hello and welcome to another video from the History Tutor and today it's an important one because we're looking at this year's site question for the Elizabethan paper for AQA GCSE history and we're looking at Drake's circumnavigation of the globe. Well, thank you for joining me for this revision lesson. And this is an important one. So 2024, the Elizabethan paper for AQA will be a Drake's circumnavigation of the globe for the big 16 mark question. This will make or break the exam paper really for you. You can go out happy, feeling you did well at the end, or you can go out going, I wish I'd known a bit more about Drake. I did know he's in the exam. Um, so today I'm gonna give you uh, a full sort of recap and reminder of some of the, the core content, how to answer the question correctly, and we're going to go through some example paragraphs and example skills for the 16 marker question. Firstly, though, a little quiz for you. Here we are then with our quiz, and this time it's a crossword puzzle. So have a look at the clues, see which uh, ones you can work out. Um, if you're struggling a bit for knowledge, then do have a look at my uh, Drake Circumnavigation Globe video you'll find on my channel and have a look at all those key facts and information and then come back and try and answer these questions. So when you're ready, take a pause and give this a go. Right, so hopefully you had plenty of time and here are some answers. So who funded a Drake's expedition and got a ship named after him? Of course, it's Hatton and the Golden Hind was the ship. Uh, Elizabeth gave Drake a license to be a privateer for four across. Six across, the surname of Drake's cousin was Hawkins. Of course, John Hawkins and uh, Drake were uh, were together on expeditions in the 1560s and 70s. And then, of course, there was an incident where Drake and Hawkins were attacked by the Spanish. But Drake gave revenge eight across at Nombre de Dios. Uh, nine across, explorers had tried to find the northern passage at the Strait of uh, what uh, it says Anion, and uh, and obviously that might be part of the mission to consider. Was Drake also exploring to find new places to the east? Um, still trying to find that um, elusive pathway to China and India in a slightly easier way. Ten across, Elizabeth used her money from the expedition to set up which country? So you, she made huge amounts of money from the expedition, the circumnavigation of the globe, setting up Levant Company. So down one down, name ship Drake used for his voyage work. The Golden Hind, of course. Uh, how much? How many hundred thousands of treasure did Drake steal? Six hundred thousand. Advice Drake stole to help him navigate the world was the astrolabe, and uh, the shameful trade Drake was involved in during the 18, during the fifteen sixties with uh, Hawkins was a slave trade, of course. Uh, so hopefully you're warmed up with some knowledge. So let's go on to look at some key skills of how to answer the question. So here is the question I'm setting you. Drake's circumnavigation globe was motivated by his desire to increase his wealth by stealing from the Spanish. How far does the study of Drake's circumnavigation globe support this statement? So what would you need to do to complete this question successfully? So have a look over the, the words in that question carefully. What do you think you need to do to be successful with this question? Again, you can pause, have a bit of thinking time. We can just listen to me talk through it. So firstly, it's a 16 mark answer. So it's more than the eight marks you normally have. So we're expecting three paragraphs and you've got a decision to make as well. So you'll need a conclusion. Um, so it's got the word motivated in there, motivated by a desire to increase as well. So this is a question about causes of the expedition, the circumnavigation of the globe. So why did he do it? Why did people give him money? What was the focus of the reasons behind why they were doing it? Okay. Um, so it's saying he did it to increase his wealth. That is the argument. He went round the globe to increase his wealth. <clears throat> so we need to talk about that. But it says, how far do you agree? So we then all need to talk about other factors. It's not, yes, he did it for wealth. No, he didn't do it for wealth. It's he did it to wealth to some degree and then other factors to other degrees and giving amounts in your answer. So history is a subject where we argue. That is the skill we are doing pretty much all the time. We are interpreting and arguing. So we need to argue and evaluate. We need to have our appeal paragraphs and we need to create arguments. We need some good quality factual knowledge. So we need to know about the circumnavigation of the globe and also the other impacts about wealth and fashion and trade. These might be other things we might want to talk about. Perhaps foreign policy with Spain might be important here. So 
being aware of the other areas, not just, you know, which date he left, where he arrived in different places. We need to connect to other themes. And as, as I mentioned earlier, conclude how far wealth was the main reason why. So we need that concluding paragraph comparing to the other factors we've decided upon. So now we need to start working on, out our ideas. So we know that increased wealth is one of the motives for him going on his circumnavigation of the globe. So again, a bit of thinking task for you. What are the other arguments? Had enough time? Have a think about it? We can pause? Had a go? Well, here are some other arguments then. Um, so, revenge on Spain and exploration. Okay. Now, I've already filled in increased wealth and come up with some ideas for you. Your task is to have a look over those and then have a think, what would you say for revenge and exploration? Hopefully you agree with those themes. Um, I think they're the most obvious. Uh, there might be some other themes you might enjoy talking about more. And obviously there's nothing stopping you talking about those. Just check. Is it a cause of why you went? And do you have enough knowledge to make an argument? You know, just check those things. So argument one, increased wealth. So we know it was funded by noble investors that wish to make money. Um, so, you know, obviously you've got uh, the Queen. You've got um, and most of the members of the uh, Privy Council, including... Um, Leicester, uh, well, D Dudley, you probably know him better as, uh, Walsingham, um, we're all investing. Um, so, and uh, and Hutton was investing as well. Obviously, he has the Golden Hind named after him, so obviously a key investor. So lots of people were expecting to make huge amounts of money. And this is because in 1572, uh, the raids had made so much money. He'd made about £3 million in sort of, uh, in sort of translated versions of money. Uh, we look at the sort of value of the money he had put in today's money in his 1572 mission. Um, and obviously, everyone's very pleased with his circumnavigation of the globe, which uh, went into hundreds of millions in modern money, £600,000 in that time period, raids on Lima, the Mocha Islands, um, the wage ship, the, the, the Nuestra. Um, and uh, he obviously started to make trade links as well. So obviously, at the end, People were very happy. Queen Elizabeth made huge amounts of money. She doubled her national income, earning over £100,000 in her cut and was able to set up the Levant Company. So we know all these things suggest that they were really interested in wealth. So get as many facts as you can think of about wealth. Uh, you know, it might be an opportunity to make a revision card about that idea. Then have a think. Revenge on Spain. What do you know about that? And exploration. What do you know about that in terms of how they might be motives for circumnavigating the globe? Have a think. Okay, so hope you pause and had enough time. You've come up with some ideas. So did you have these ideas then? So Drake and Hawkins had been attacked in 1568 whilst on a slave trade mission in the Americas at San Juan de Lua. They, had, they were attacked by a Spanish and much of Drake's crew, including family members, were killed. Drake took revenge with the number of the Dios mission in 1572, and he was motivated to destroy the Spanish. Okay, you could also bring in war with Spain. Um, so by the later 1570s, uh, England was far more supportive of the Dutch in the, the um, war with Spain. So you could tie that in as well. Uh, you might be going along that theme a bit more than like the earlier missions theme. Uh, so that, that would be good knowledge if you include that. Exploration then. So where, where can we have about, what can we have about exploration? So uh, Martin Frobisher had led a mission to try and find the northern passage, the Strait of Anion, to the Pacific through North America, but had not found it. On his way back home, Drake had obviously tried to find this strait as well. So he'd gone round the the um, round uh, the, the the bottom of South America and come into the Pacific, raided lots of the areas of the Spanish, and he couldn't go back via those Spanish colonies. He would have been attacked and all his treasure taken off him by the Spanish. So he had to find a, a way home. So he went to go and look, possibly went, look for the strait through North America. Couldn't find it. Came back to sort of California area. Uh, refitted his ship and then travelled around the world and obviously maybe exploring being the first person travelling around the world was attempting to him it was maybe prestigious to be that first English person to do it and he therefore you know that the crew were motivated by that that could be an argument to consider but did he go with that motive in mind you know maybe a little bit you have a think about how much these were the motive but once you've thought about all your knowledge and ideas, you then have an opportunity to start writing and come up with an idea. You do have to have made a decision. How important are each of these? Is it um, 
making wealth? Is it revenge on Spain and, and the general feeling of war that's developing? Is it um, exploration? How much do you think each of them is worth as an argument? Okay, so you can use words like mostly and partly, as you can see there in the point. Each of them, you need to have, you know, a mostly, mostly or partly sort of idea for them and a reason why. Okay, so that's how I'd like to start the paragraphs. The statement is mostly or partly correct that Drake said going to have wealth because. So that's how you're going to start your first one. The second paragraph, the statement, not totally correct because it was also about revenge on Spain to some extent because. Yeah, so you're going to be able to keep referring to the statement and developing your opinion. The paragraph then is quite simple. Um, it's, is a statement correct? How much is it? And why? Set them an argument. Give evidence to back up the argument you're setting up. Give some facts. Then explain. This shows it was motivated by wealth because, and explain with some impact knowledge. Okay, if you think it's very important, that factor, give a furthermore, give an extra strength to show your evaluation. If you don't think it's very important, you said partly, give a weakness. However, this is not totally the case. So let's give this a go, shall we? So you can work with me here, all right? You can pause each stage and think of what you'd put to finish the sentence. So what decision would you make? Is wealth mostly or partly? And what would you say as a reason why? So here's what I've come up with. So the statement is mostly correct because uh, about Drake's second having to delay to gain wealth because Drake's second was heavily funded by noble investors who expected to make large profits. So now I've put noble investors. So what would be some good evidence here? Have a think. Again, you can pause, have a go. Right. Here's what I've come up with. For example, Walsingham, Leicester and Hatton all gave uh, significant funding towards the expedition. Hatton gave Drake a ship called the Pelican and Queen Elizabeth also gave a ship and money for the voyage. So a few facts. Okay, so hopefully those are facts you're going to learn, you'd know from watching my revision video. So now explain. This shows that developing increased wealth was a key motivation trip because, or it's a key factor because, right, so we need some impact knowledge here. So what did they gain? What did they achieve? What happened? What sort of knowledge would you put in there? Pause and have a go. Think of an idea. All right, so here's what I'd put in. Did you come up with this one? So... It was a key motivation trip because they all expect to return from their investment through Drake's raiding of the Spanish. Drake uh, raided Lima and Mocha Islands and stole large amounts of treasure from the Spanish, whilst which was unguarded. He also raided uh, 480 million pounds of treasure from a Spanish wage ship near Panama. Um, and if you can remember the name or even you know pronounce it, then you can give that a go for the exam if you like as well. Um, so then. We've said it's mostly convincing, so we need a bit of a furthermore. So how else is he making money? Okay, maybe there's a different part of the trip where there's money being made. Okay, have a think. Is there a bit you could put in? So here's what I've come up with. So furthermore, the second navigation was motivated by getting wealth. As investors knew Drake's great success raiding the Spanish in 1572. He had raided a number of DDRs and seized equivalent of £3 million in treasure. So you could have that. You could have talked about going to the Spice Islands uh, and starting trade there. You could have talked about making wealth with Elizabeth and setting up companies like Levant Company. Those are all sort of wider thoughts, different times, different places you could have introduced. So then it's on to the next paragraph. So your turn. Have a, have a go at practicing this. Um, you know, however, the statement is not totally correct. As revenge, motivate Drake because. Give an example and start explaining thinking about how important it is. Okay, I hope you found that uh, video useful and it's gonna help you towards your top grade skills and you've learned how to answer that question correctly with some good ideas. Um, so do look out for more videos um, and subscribe to my channel if you want to keep up with more information. Okay, but bye-bye for now.